Hey everybody, so just wanted to um, kind of go over just this uh, this latest shoot that I did and all the things that I learned. Uh, there was so much that I learned on this one. Um, so this is the North Forest Lights over at Crystal Bridges. They have a, a, um, a light set up, um, kind of like an experience more than more than like an exhibit, but it's also not like a Christmas type thing where it's like Christmas lights and stuff like that. It's more of just like lights and you're going out in nature and walking at nighttime. It's it's very cool. And I've been trying to get over there f since they reopened back in the fall. And uh, I just got over there the other day, um, Saturday, in, and that was like January 23rd. Um, so um, I was a little too excited to get over there because I didn't even check my camera settings and, um, and made some really kind of um, dumb mistakes that I wish I hadn't done and I knew better um, but um, so some of the some of the footage or <laughs> kind of all the footage I shot with my drone a little bit um, and took some shots and those turned out great um, the buckyball is always fun to, to shoot and um, to get shots of that's always a fun thing to get shots of and those looked great however um, on my pocket cinema I shot it with, um, I know that there's dual ISO, um, it's dual ISO native, uh, the, the high native is like 3200, and I went way past that, and I thought, oh, it looks good on the screen, so it'll be okay, it'll be okay, and then all the footage looked super duper grainy, this wasn't, um, let's see, let's go a little further into it, um, super duper grainy like really overly grainy I was like oh my gosh and it didn't look like that on the screen and I thought oh you know uh, the, even certain shots I cranked up to like 25,000 26,000 and I was like oh no so um, so I had some thinking to do I was like okay what do I do do I go out again because I felt like I got a lot of good shots um, that I was really happy with um, stuff like this and I was like oh. and so I looked up on YouTube some tutorials on how to take um, you know just overexposure grain out of your footage and it just everything was like um, plugins and things like or there were no I, first I looked up like how to not spend any money and go with no plugins whatsoever and they were all like weird solutions they were like apply the VR denoiser but then it gives your footage some weird look down at the bottom of the screen it just didn't work and so what I um, so I looked up a few more things and then I looked up some plugins and most everybody um, suggested this neat video plugin and that would be this right here and I was like a little bit you know hesitant because I was like I, I really wasn't that keen on even the look of their their site and uh, I just thought oh I don't know if I'm crazy about it um, you know even that footage just felt like it was still a little bit noisy um, but it might be like the matter that this is like a gif or something like that so um, so I ended up um, trying it out and I was pretty happy with it and then um, you know because it it is uh, it wasn't cheap but I, I kept thinking about you know the I spent four hours out there um, shooting so I was like okay I don't want to go back out there my back was kind of hurting just carrying the the Ronin around and by the way I shot with the black magic pocket my usual pocket cinema camera 4k and then um, um, the Ronin and so um, did a lot of walking I think I walked um, I don't know how many miles but at least 10,000 steps so it was, uh, it was a lot of walking but it's I mean when you go out there you just assume that you're gonna spend time walking so and that's fine um, but I didn't want to go do it again and and you know because I put it uh, let's see it got a hundred and sorry about the saving there um, there it goes uh, I think a hundred and six hundred three shots something like that so Spent a lot of time and got a lot of different shots and 
I felt good about them when I was there. And then, uh, oh, and also I applied the LUT to the footage, which was like, oh, why did I do that? Why did I have it like that? So, um, so I'm going to, um, uh, so I didn't, you know, I was like, okay, well, I've, I've got the color profile just, it's already on there. So I couldn't really do anything uh, color wise too much. Um, so, but anyway, so I applied this, um, this nice uh, video to it and I was very, very happy. So let's, uh, let me just pull one up. Let me just um, make a new, new sequence real quick. Um, I pick some really bad, let's, um, Find some really bad footage here that I ended up using. Um, there was a close up, I think it was this one. Yeah, this one. Okay, so I'm just gonna um, make a new sequence from clip. Okay, so this one was <laughs> really, really gross and dirty looking. So, um, so what I ended up doing, and this is in Blackmagic Raw. Um, so um, how you apply that is you go to effects and it's, um, I think it's the noise. There's that VR denoise, but it wasn't that. Um, there is grain. Nope. can't even find it um, here I know how to find it reduce noise okay so that's what it's called um, so reduce noise okay so there it is and it's version 5 and so what I'm going to do is drag this on top so the so two another thing that I just didn't like about some of the solutions that people were presenting was just the amount of time that goes into like rendering and previewing and scrubbing around and it was just like it was so slow. Um, now this you can't really um, you can't really preview it or anything like that. You kind of have to render it to see it, um, but. But yeah, it was, um, I was very happy with it, you know, just as far as the render time and stuff like that. Took for like a clip like this, it would probably take a minute. So let me, uh, let's uh, take a look at the um, user interface here. So here it is. And then what you do is you hit, um, and this is very, this is such a deep plugin. Um, and so I'm just like, I'm, you know, just able to just like, do the very very basics so you just prepare and build and then it opens up a little UI and um, and so what it's gonna do now um, you can you can pick like a certain area that you think has the most grain it's looking for the most grain and I'm going to assume um, right around here so you can click on auto profile which does an excellent job so really I don't I don't feel like I need to be the one picking it out the computer will pick it out for me and oh pick that side so um, so you can move it around if you want to if you feel like there's a better area but I'm gonna go with that and then um, so build profile and then go over here and hit profile check and it will give you an idea of what it's going to look like and cleans it up so much and I've read that some people are like it takes all the grain out and they want a little bit of grain in I was fine with it not being in there um, I thought it looked um, for this particular video I thought it looked very cool some people just don't like the you know the amount of grain that it takes out um, so I'm going to go with that and that's all it takes um, you can go a lot deeper into it. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. Um, you know, you can do profile checks. You can, you know, go in and, and adjust, you know, just very, very tiny things. This is in beginner mode. 
right over here but I can go into if I wanted to I can go into like um, just a more like advanced setting but yeah I'm gonna stick with beginner mode and it does when I need it to um, maybe someday I'll get further into it but uh, for now this is what uh, this works for me so then you hit apply and then it um, And for you to really be able to see it, I mean, I think you could probably bring it down to like 1 16th or something like that, but then you kind of lose your, it still doesn't exactly give you an idea. And plus you're kind of looking more for the full anyway, but it doesn't take too long to render. So like this five second clip, um, I'll go ahead and render selection. So um, while it's rendering, just um, so that that was kind of like I do this video like in chunks and um, like about 10 to 20 second chunks. And then I just kind of go through each um, shot and kind of adjust it as needed um, or, you know, depending on like the brightness and, and that kind of stuff. So I did each shot individually. And, uh, and then I would like render and walk away or go take a walk or something like that. So here, here it is playing back. Um, this is kind of like a, an out of the box shot, but, um, but yeah, it cleaned it up really nicely. And, um, so, <clears throat> so yeah, so kind of just went down the line and uh, anything, any time that you would add anything else, it would add a long time to the render time. Now, the way I have my timeline set up is that I've got it all um, rendered out at like, I think it, oh, it's ProRes LT, um, just for preview, and it's like seven, or not 720, but it was 1080 or something like that. And this is 4K footage in RAW, so, um, so I was like, okay, I'll, I'll render the whole thing out. And so I rendered it out and, uh, and, <clears throat> and I wanted to like crush those blacks. It just felt like everything was kind of a little bit gray, like this shot in particular, just everything kind of felt gray. So I wanted to put like a adjustment layer or something on top of it. And it was just making the render time just atrocious, uh, for this whole thing exporting it to probably like three hours um, for a eight and a half minute video um, so it was like oh, I don't want to add any more time to that I might just go with it and then uh, as I watched it on YouTube and stuff like that brought it up on different monitors I'm like oh I can't stand this um, so I thought well I'm going to export it as an MOV and then um, you know just apply it the like a you know just a color correction all the way across on an MOV well there was a problem with that and it was this um, so here's the MOV it was a ProRes 422 really high resolution it was like a 20 gig file but anytime I would apply so I applied um, so let's see so here's the effect so if I turn it off you get that it's just a little bit you know the blacks just aren't black and then you turn it on and they look fine but then you start scrubbing around and you start playing it and you get like these all this weird looking stuff on on around the lights and stuff like that I was like what is going on and it would only do that when I would apply the um, when I would apply any color correction so it looked fine otherwise in MOV so I was like well I'm just gonna give up and, and not and not press on but um, I went out and took a walk and then I came back and I was like uh, on my walk I was like okay what if I brought it into Final Cut and did the color correction there and that's what I ended up doing um, so I brought it into Final Cut the, the straight MOV file and I was able to do that and then I put um, just a little bit of color um, a color board um, let's see on wherever it went there it is 
And so really I didn't do too much. I just took those mid-tones down just a little bit and then helped the blacks so much. Um, and then I put just a little vignette on it of like two, um, just very small, but it just really helped um, ring, ring that down and just give it a little bit more pop. Um, you know, because I'm doing a lot of dissolves to black in this video. So, and then I um, took the beginning just a little bit and added a little bit more glitchiness to it because the that first part of the song is really glitchy sounding. Um, and uh, yeah, I had fun with this. Um, the it's not my typical like song choice, um, but I am a big fan of Jacob Collier lately. So I've been um, using his music as much as possible. Um, but this is a, like a, it kind of has the same vibe as the music that they were playing out there at, uh, at North Forest Lights. Um, uh, just a little bit like, it's not, it's real eccentric uh, type of music. Um, and uh, that fits Jacob Collier pretty much. Um, and uh, yeah, so I was, uh, I was really... <laughs> It took me a while to get to this point, but I'm really a lot happier with it now. Um, and uh, yeah, I had fun doing it. And uh, I, I might uh, do some more of these, like a deeper tutorial on some of the settings and stuff like that, that I, uh, that I found out that I messed up on. And uh, yeah, but I did learn a ton on this project. Uh, had to spend a little money, you know, it wasn't, wasn't cheap to, uh, to get that neat video plug-in, but it is uh, definitely worth it, and it's going to save me a lot, um, a lot of, uh, um, you know, just cutting out grain, you know, in the future if I need to. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I had a lot of fun with this project. So thanks a lot.